If all life evolved from and is related to earlier forms of life, then closely related animals should also have similar kinds of chemicals in their bodies. For example, insulin from a shark should be more like insulin from other fish than insulin from, say, the mammals. Unfortunately for the evolutionist, chemical comparisons between various creatures do not usually show the same relationships as their evolutionary charts. Awkward. <laughs> Research at the Medical University of South Carolina compared the hormone relaxin, which was produced by pigs and rats, with the relaxin produced by sharks. The results showed that the pigs' relaxin was more like the sharks' relaxin than it was like the rats. This would seem to say that pigs are more closely related to sharks than to another mammal, the rat. That doesn't make sense. A similar study comparing insulin showed a closer similarity between the shark and the pig than between the shark and another fish, the carp. Come again. My name is Julius, and I'm your twin brother. Oh, obviously. While evolutionists will sometimes point out instances where these comparisons have worked out as they expected, those results are unusual. Normally, these comparisons show that the evolutionary histories and relationships which evolutionists claim are nothing more than imagination. As the Bible says, each kind of creature gives evidence to the fact that it was uniquely created by God. <laughs>